Branson is an amazing place. This is a place that is special, that is transformative, that is preparing students, not just to be great students, but to be great individuals and to make a difference in the world. One of the things that amazes me every day is when I come to Branson, I'm just surrounded by some of the smartest, kindest, like most incredible people I've ever met in my life. I like Branson because it's pushed me to learn more about the world around me in all kinds of different ways. Gosh, I would say Branson is like a little family. Branson has been here since 1920, 100 years. It's a great school, it was a great school in 1920, it's a great school today. And we could probably do nothing and be just fine. Kids would still want to come here, colleges would still want our kids, uh, industry would still want to hire them. But we feel that we will better be doing our job with the strategic plan in terms of preparing them for a rapidly changing world. So it's been a long time since Branson had a formal strategic plan, so it was very important that we looked at all areas of school life as we tried to figure out what is our path, what do we need to focus on these next five years. We've chosen four pillars of the strategic plan. The first is teaching and learning. The second is character and leadership. The third is growing our diverse community. And the fourth is long-term sustainability for Branson. So our program is called Bite Size Coders. And we started last year in the fall and we teach like 10 second through fifth graders how to code using a variety of programs online. And we're trying to basically teach them like the fundamentals of programming and also how to think like logically and analytically. So I became interested in computer science and programming at a pretty young age. And so I started coding on my own outside of school and I made a few different types of apps. Like I made a weather app and I made a snake like game app, which was super fun for me. And so when I got to Branson, I was able to kind of explore this passion more. And what's unique about Branson is that they really encourage you to not only explore your passion and to find your passion, but to share that passion with others in your community, but especially outside your community who might not have that opportunity. What's really amazing about our program is that it's a two-way relationship. It's not just us impacting them. It's really kind of being able to see their growth and their commitment to something that we're passionate about. To see the hope and the fascination in their eyes and to know that I was able to be a part of that and inspire them a little bit is inspiring to me. Character is who you are as a person, it's your core, it's you know, how you conduct yourself on a daily basis, publicly and privately, you know, the principles and values uh, of what guides how you live your life. That really is my ultimate goal as the head of school, is that we are turning out kids who are not only really well academically prepared, but who care about the world who have a sense of duty to something bigger than themselves, who know that you know, with this great education comes a responsibility to do something with it that benefits others. You know, we teach character in a lot of different ways at Branson. You know, it really starts with the hiring practice. You know, the adults that we bring into this community, we hire high character individuals, adults who really love working with children, adults who are willing to be honest and be candid. Character development happens in the curriculum, the text that we choose to use, the authors that we study, and then character also happens you know, throughout the uh, athletic program. You know, the coaches, you know, they talk a lot um, about competing the right way. You know, the way that I model character for students, you know, first and foremost is, you know, I bring my authentic self to Branson. I talk to students, you know, authentically about my experience and the way that I navigate the world. When I'm meeting with my advisor group, you know, if it's on a Monday and we're having a conversation about our weekends, you know, I share with them what I do on the weekends, you know, through the ministries that I'm involved with in West Oakland. Um, I talk to them about, you know, the moments that we stand on corners for people who have, you know, lost loved ones to gun violence. When I show up to Branson, I don't leave that at the front door. I talk about those things with the students.
when people throw out the words diversity or equity or inclusion, they get bandied around a lot. They can mean a lot of different things, but at the end of the day, it's all about creating a community where kids feel that they can show up each and every day as their full selves and that they feel this deep sense of belonging and that sense of cohesion permeates every aspect of the school. Diversity of thought, diversity of background, diversity of opinion, um, diversity of perspective is integral to any real learning process. We're in the business at Branson of creating space for that diversity to not just be included, but celebrated. You know, when I think about why I became an educator and why kids feeling a safe sense of belonging matters to me, I think a lot about my own familial experience and my grandfather in particular who was this orphan poor Mexican kid who was the first person in our family to go to college and literally nobody looked like him nobody spoke his language and the deep sense of alienation he felt and I think at Branson diversity matters because we want to be the best school we can be we want to ask the tough questions and we want to look at ourselves and understand how can we be better so that the experience of my grandfather is never replicated again in the experience of our students. And I think that the strategic plan includes this pillar is one of the most powerful demonstrative statements any school can make about its commitment to equity work. I've been at Branson for 30 years and I'd say what's kept me here for this long is just the community. I live here on campus. I've had a home here on campus for the entire time that I've been here. Uh, and again, as I said, I was lucky enough to raise my family here also. It was a, an incredible opportunity for the boys. Both of them were my ball boys. Um, I, I was a head soccer coach for both the boys and the girls teams over the years. So in all of the team photos, you see Tommy and Michael right there with the team. We need to make sure that we have the resources in place to support our faculty because it doesn't look like the Bay Area is getting any less expensive to live. So we want to support them financially in as many ways as we can. And I know that part of the strategic plan is looking at properties locally. But I think there's a great appreciation by the faculty uh, that they would be um, so highly profiled in the strategic plan going forward. Everyone feels that we're in this together and from the top down, uh, we have a vision about how we're going to make Branson a better school going into the next hundred years. Mm -hmm.